Dad, I am a drug user. Yes. We know. Your mom and I want to help you quit using drugs. Quit? Why should I quit? Because you are addicted. What do you mean? Don't you know that an addiction is nothing more than the gradual implementation of a time-consistent, forward-looking, welfare-maximizing, intertemporal consumption plan? What the fuck? Listen. My body gradually adapts to my heroin use, right? Yes. Withdrawal means that I wake up every morning feeling like shit because my body craves drugs. Yes. So you should stop taking drugs. No. Because this makes each future injection of drugs more valuable. It removes the painful withdrawal as well as giving me the rush that I crave. That sounds stupid. It is not stupid. It is called a theory of rational addiction. Addicts are aware of these effects and have made a plan to exploit them for maximum pleasure, happiness, or welfare over their lifetime. What do you mean? The theory of rational addiction shows how addicts pursue carefully calculated plans for optimal heroin consumption. They appear to get hooked, but they are actually changing their tastes and bodies according to a well-thought-out plan. You sound insane. Are you on drugs now? Of course. I am telling you that, for me, being on drugs is rational. Why is it rational for you? If it was not rational for me, then I would not be doing it. Because I am doing it, I can know that it is a good idea. In fact, it is the best idea I could have had. You sound insane. I am not insane. The theory of rational addiction is the standard way of understanding addictions and economics. Then the economists sound insane. Are they on drugs too? I do not know whether the economists are on drugs. But Gary Becker, the person who invented the theory of rational addiction, has won the so-called Nobel Prize in Economic Science. Maybe you did not understand the theory. They write that addicts would be even more unhappy if they were prevented from consuming the addictive goods. Maybe they are talking about the addicts in their model. You are an addict in the real world. It is different. No, it is not. Two other economists wrote in 1996 that the Becker-Murphy model is of particular interest because it opens the door to welfare economics and economic policy analysis with respect to illegal addictive substances. Maybe other economists have proven that the theory is wrong. No. It is the standard approach in economics. Economists say that it has been reinforced by a sizable empirical literature. But addicts are not simply following a clever plan. Yes, they are. In another top journal of economics, two other researchers wrote that rational addiction theory substantially improves our understanding of the determinants of addiction. But you often make such stupid choices. How would you be able to make such a clever plan involving delayed effects and complicated trade-offs across time and goods? I do not need to make such a plan. It is enough that I act as if I did. That is what economists would answer. It is as if... What do you mean? I am acting as if I have solved the rational addiction decision problem. It does not matter if I cannot actually do so. So you are acting as if you have found the best solution to the decision problem that you yourself are facing? No. I act as if I have found the best solution to the decision problem that the addicts in the theoretical model are facing. But why is that relevant? Why is it a good thing that you are following the solution to a different problem from the one you face? You are clearly not an economist. Economists know that the realism of the assumptions is irrelevant as long as the theory predicts well. So an extremely dangerous and stupid behavior becomes extremely smart if an economist can find some untrue assumptions that would make it smart? Yes. What if I found a drug user who became happier and better off without drugs? That would be irrelevant. An anecdote is not science. Individual cases may deviate from the optimum. But incentives work consistently and systematically, and will on average determine the actual behavior. But these incentives are crazy. The realism of the assumptions is irrelevant. But the incentives are precise expectations about future lagged effects. It is as if the realism of the assumptions is irrelevant. As if. But such incentives can only shape your behavior if you are aware of these future effects and take them into consideration. As if. People do not need to be aware of them. It is enough that they act as if they were. Why? Maybe they make smart decisions subconsciously. Or maybe not. If we don't assume that people optimize, that they always do the smartest thing they can, then all prediction becomes impossible. You can assume anything. You are already assuming anything. 
I am basing my arguments on tightly argued, rigorous models consistent with the standard assumptions of economics. You are basing your arguments on crazy talk. You are wrong. Anyway, these are standard assumptions in economics. I have no problem with them. That is irrelevant. No it is not. Quantum theory also seems weird, but it is accepted. That is the way of science. Quantum theory makes no claims about the motivation or welfare of quantum particles. You just do not understand the mathematics involved. This is typical uninformed criticism of economics. This has nothing to do with mathematics. It seems wrong to say that addicts behave the way they do because that is the optimal way to behave when you face a different problem from the one they face. It may seem strange, but these theories come from some of the smartest people working in economics. Anyway, there are some studies that show that sometimes some people have done things that were smarter than some other people have thought they could. So maybe you are wrong and everyone always does the smartest thing they could. You probably disagree, only because it is in your personal interest to disagree. Is it optimal for me to use drugs as well? Are you using drugs now? No. Then it is not optimal for you to use drugs. Sorry. But it would be unscientific for me to claim anything else. Oh. But if I started using them, would it be optimal to use them then? Yes. In that case I'm glad we had this talk. Thank you. And I am glad I studied economics. Me too. Now show me where you keep your stash and let us get fucked up big time.